Welcome in Iowa Hawkeye football fans to yet another week of the Hawkeye tailgate report and this time we're coming off of a win we got off the snide this weekend with a pretty big win over Illinois on homecoming granted Illinois wasn't a highly thought after team but hey a win's a win we'll take it some of the takeaways we have from this are uh, the defense was gashed on the ground early in this game but they really settled down and took control of it in the second half and it was a tale of two halves the first half wasn't great second half maybe the best half of football I've ever seen an Iowa team play it was pretty pretty amazing to see and the special teams play was great Gary Dolphin said before the game and pregame that he was thinking that the the punting unit was going to do something special today and are in this game and they did uh they pulled off a pretty big fake punt the onside kick of course called by Kirk Ferentz and the return game was pretty solid as well led by Josh Jackson but we'll get to the scoring summary here to get the show started the first quarter the Hawkeyes fell behind yet again they have not led they have not scored first in any of their games this year. A 29-yard field goal by Chase McLaughlin. He had a lot of those in this game. Nick Easley would answer, give the Hawkeyes a 7-3 lead on a 5-yard touchdown. And in the second quarter, Iowa led 7-3 when uh, Miguel Racinos kicked another field goal, 37-yarder. Made the score 10-3. Ravon Bonner had a 2-yard rushing touchdown to tie it up at 10s. McLaughlin would hit another 24-yard field goal, and right before the half with eight seconds left on the clock, Wadley would uh, get in on a two-yard touchdown reception. Iowa led 17-13 at the half. Third quarter, Brandon Snyder. Welcome back, Brandon Snyder. 89-yard interception return for a touchdown, 24-13. Uh, McLaughlin would hit a 40-yard field goal, make it an eight-point game, but Iowa really wouldn't look back after that Schneider 89-yard INT. Uh, Vandenberg would get in on the action, 39-yard touchdown reception to make it 31-16. Wadley had an 18-yard touchdown run, and uh, Ivory Kelly Martin got a three-yard touchdown reception. Congrats to Tyler Waggers, his first passing touchdown of his career. I'm sure it'll be a good one once Stanley's time has come to an end, but that's still... A ways away yet. Looking at some of the stats from the 45 to 16 win over Illinois. Stanley 17 to 32, 247 yards, three touchdowns and an interception. A pretty good day again. He's throwing a lot of touchdowns this year. Wadley 23 carries, 115 yards and one touchdown. He also had two catches, 14 yards and one touchdown there. Easley and Vandenberg reeled one in for a touchdown each and Jewel and Bauer each had 10 tackles Jewel recently named to the mid midseason uh, all-american team and Brandon Snyder probably the player of the game for Iowa had three tackles one INT and a touchdown six months after tearing his ACL that is that is basically unheard of the best example you could get for that is Adrian Peterson but he was still out almost a year I believe it was nine months something like that Uh, For Illinois, Jeff George Jr., three interceptions, not a great day. Uh, Mike Epstein and Reggie Corbin each had averaged over 8.5 yards per carry, but like I said, Iowa calmed that down. And overall, not a bad bad game by Iowa. They did very good, probably their best offensive performance of the year, I would say, especially in that second half. They just exploded. A lot of different people got involved. But uh, we, we, we did get out to do some interviews this week. It was a little rainy outside, plus I forgot the microphone at home, so uh, we just used our phone to do it, the interviews. Uh, bear with us this week. It was It's all right quality, but enjoy the interviews. Here are some ads from our sponsors before we get to those. Cobra Lanes in Farley, Iowa is now open for the year. Come out and bowl at the 8-Lane Family Fun Center. Want a new bowling ball? Visit the Pro Shop and have it drilled by owner Al Heiberger. Want some dinner? Order some food from the kitchen and eat it in their dining area. Want to have a good time? Visit their bar for happy hour from 4 to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Roll on down to Cobra Lanes in Farley for a great time. As a small business owner, you know tax season is not nearly as exciting as Iowa game day. With Peak Ridge Partners, you won't have to worry about the stress of tax season. Peak Ridge Partners takes the stress of tax and accounting off of your shoulders, allowing you to focus your time on maximizing your business's potential. Our cloud-based bookkeeping system will allow you to stay on top of your tax and accounting needs. When you choose Peak Ridge Partners, you have the ability to access all your bookkeeping information at any time on any mobile device, allowing you to communicate with us 24-7. Choose Peak Ridge Partners. We save small businesses time and money. Go Hawks! 
Thanks for staying tuned to the Hawkeye Tailgate Report. I am Luke Myers. What's your guys' names? I'm Travis. Jody. All right, so the Hawkeyes, 3-2 and two on the season. It's been a rough couple of weeks here. The loss to Penn State. Dropped that horrible game last weekend. What are your impressions so far? A big win today. Big win? Yep. Offense needs to step it up. All right. Iowa comes in as, a, I think, 16-point favorite. You think they cover that? Easily. I don't think so. I take the points. I, I, I think <laughs> I'm with this guy right here. I was, but, uh, I was gonna win, but I'm taking the points. But uh, yeah, and, terrible. Yeah. So Nathan <laughs> Stanley, it's his first year under center. How do you think he's been doing? So good. Doing good. Yeah, not yeah, bad. Doing not good. Bad. Doing good. Like seeing yeah, him hit a deep ball. Long ball. He needs yeah, yeah, long ball. That's it. Long ball. He needs to get a little air on yep. his deep ball so it lands uh, softly. Yeah. Just think if he didn't yeah. slip on that ball. But uh, prediction for today's game, what do you guys got against the Fighting Illini? 45-10. 35-20. All right, so what's going on your tailgates here today? Can't tell you. Can't tell you. Have to show me? <laughs> Playing some bags, drinking beer. All right. Vodka. Yep. Yeah. What are you missing in there? Just vodka. Enjoying some Fredo. Straight Tito's. Straight Tito's? Yeah, that's it. That's uh, not a hawk. Pretty good sipper. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big sipper. But, uh, all right, so we got some trivia questions for you here. 2002, which Whoa. kicker won the National Kicker of the Year for Iowa? Uh, Nate Katie. No! Sit down. Yeah, Nate Katie. <laughs> <laughs> it is Nate Katie. That is the correct answer. All right. Just second, answer when you know it. Uh, no, duh. That was, that was answered. Everybody knows that. The second question is... Since you guys answered that first one pretty quick, I'd imagine pretty easy. What are the names of the four trophies in the trophy games for the Hawkeyes? Hi-Vee, Cy-Hawk. It's Minnesota, Wisconsin. Floyd or Rosedale. The Heroes Trophy. The Heroes Trophy. One more, and it's Wisconsin. The Bull. The Bull? What is that name? The Wicked Pig. The Bull. The Bull. What's the Bull trophy name? The Heartland. Heartland. The Heartland. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. guys, that's all I have for you. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Thank Go Hawks! Go Hawks! Woo! Woo! <laughs> got an audience. Next up on the Hawkeye Tailgate Report is... Steve. Steve what? Um, Nauman. Nauman? <laughs> Where are you from, Steve? Um, Bernard, Iowa. <laughs> Bernard? All right. We're from up around there. We're from Dubuque County, so oh, okay, good. right around there. But, uh... Hawkeyes three and two on the season. A little disappointing in the last couple of weeks. What are your impressions? I think they're trying. They're, they're, I mean, they're playing well. I mean, it's a, a couple breaks here. There, you could be, they could be five and all. Yeah, I mean, you look at their game so far. The defense has played well and the offense hasn't, or the defense has played bad and the offense has played good. It's if we get them together one game, I think we'll really stick to somebody. But uh, Nathan Stanley, first year quarterback. What do you think of him? I think he's going to be good. I like it, you know. I like what he has. He's got a strong arm. He's young. I think he'll be better, you know, next year, year after. All right. Now Iowa plays Illinois today. This Illinois team isn't very good. What, what do you think is going to be the final score? I think Iowa needs to do a bucket. All right. I mean, just for uh, morale and for the on. The spread is 16. You think the Hawks will cover it? Yeah. Spread it. All right. Sounds good. Uh, so what's going on in your tailgate here? You, who you got with you? Well, got some buddies from Show all. We uh, brought a brought a tent today. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, my brother-in-law Joe there. He knows some guys that made some breakfast burritos for us, and uh, having a few beverages of our uh, choice. Yep. You know, and Absolutely. You get ready to go in for an early start. All right. So you ready for some Hawkeye trivia? Let's do it. 2002. Which kicker won the National Kicker of the Year for Iowa? Uh, Nate Katie. Bingo. All right. Iowa plays four trophy games. What are the names of the trophies? Cy Hawk. Heroes. Heroes, yeah, from Nebraska. Yep. Uh, the, uh, the pig thing, Floyd to Rosedale. Absolutely, you need one more. And then, uh, what does Wisconsin have one? Yeah. The heart. Land. The heart the trophy. Oh, there we go. Oh, All right, he got them both. Uh, thanks for joining me today, and go Hawks. Action. Thanks for staying tuned to the Hawkeye Tailgate Report. I'm Luke Myers. This guy's name is Austin Myers, Holy Cross resident, fellow Holy Cross resident, but uh, not, not related. Not, not related. related. Not related. So how are you doing today, Austin? Most ugly, though. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> All right, so the Hawkeyes are 3-2 on the season. Uh, what do you think of them so far? Uh, you know, they've shown 
points when they've been good, you know. The comeback win at Iowa State, that was good. Almost pulled it off against Penn State. And then they've shown some times where they just looked real bad. That loss last week at Michigan State was brutal. Uh, we played real bad in the first half against uh, North Texas. So, not really sure what to expect this Hawkeye team this year. <laughs> Sound like a big choo-choo twin. <laughs> <laughs> now, um... <laughs> This Illinois team is kind of like an historically bad Big Ten team. And Iowa always plays to their competition. It doesn't matter who it is. They're going to play to their level. That is true. So what do you think the final score is for today? Uh, you know, I think coming off two losses, I was definitely motivated to know that they can't have another loss. They want to make back the Big Ten championship. Uh, it's homecoming. Illinois is a bad team. I see Iowa's going to take this one 28-10. Okay. Uh, now, I have a couple of trivia questions for you, and I already asked you them this morning, <laughs> so you know them. Yes, you but uh, I'll ask you the ones from last week. How's that sound? Go for it. What kicker in 2008 beat undefeated number three Penn State in Pinnick Stadium? Uh, Murray. What was his first name? Daniel. Ah, yeah, bingo. All right, second question. Um, 1985 and 2002, Iowa Hawkeyes finished runners up in the Heisman. Brad Banks, Chuck Long. Bingo, we got it. Well, thanks, Austin. Hey, oh. 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 <laughs> no, th thank you. Thank you for your time. Go Hawks. Nice being on. Okay. Thanks for staying tuned to the Hawkeye Tailgate Report. I am Luke Myers. This is my new friend, Eric. Uh, Eric, what's your last name? Coolman. Coolman, where are you from? Des Moines. Des Moines? All right. So the Hawkeyes have been struggling a little in the last couple of weeks. What do you think so far in the season? You know, uh, they're about what I thought they would be. You know, the offense has struggled, but the defense has stepped up. You know, we were so close these last two games. So I'm pretty uh, pretty positive about the season. All right. Now, obviously, Akron Wadley was a big game for the Hawkeyes on offense coming in on the year. But what do you think of Nathan Stanley so far? Oh, I think he's doing what we expected. Uh, maybe even a little better. You know, his touchdowns, turnovers is great. Uh, you know, he's got a lot of pressure on him. The line hasn't been as good as I thought, but I'm still pretty positive. With him. All right, now I was a 16-point favorite today over Illinois, and that, that's a lot of points. You right. think they cover it? I think they cover it. I think Illinois comes out. It's rainy. It's cold. They probably don't want to be here. They've been struggling. I think we come out hot early, and we really cover the spread. All right, that's good to know. But uh, so, what's going on in your tailgate here today? Who you got with you? Oh, we got family here. We got friends. We got breakfast tacos. We got beer. You know, it's typical Hawkeye tailgate. All right, sounds good. Rain isn't phasing you guys at all. Not at all. No. All right, that's good to know. But uh, got some trivia questions. Are you ready for them? Ready. Joey, bring it in close. Make this real dramatic. <laughs> Not too close. All right. <laughs> 2002, yes. an Iowa kicker won the National Kicker of the Year Award. Yes. Who was it? Nate Katie. All right. Got that first one right. <laughs> Second question. Uh, name the four trophies for the trophy games for Iowa. Sure. There's the Cyhawk Trophy. There is the Bull, the Heartland Trophy. Yep. There is the Heroes Trophy. And there is the Floyd Rosedale. Absolutely. You got the Heartland Trophy. A lot of people don't get that. <laughs> but uh, hey, thanks for your time and go Thank Hawks. Thank you. Go Hawks. Now, as we look ahead to our schedule, Iowa's got a bye this week. Uh, October 14th is their off week. But that's all right. Give us time to rest up, get everybody healthy, and go. We have a long stretch here to end the year, and it's a tough one. We have Wisconsin and Ohio State coming up. They're both top 10 teams in the AP poll, but uh, don't want to overlook Northwestern year after year. This Wildcats team seems to just come in as big underdogs against Iowa and take us down. Flashbacks, the worst, most heartbreaking game I can remember is them hurting Ricky Stanzi when we were 9-0. and Ended up losing that game. Lost to Ohio State the next week. Ended up winning the Orange Bowl that year. But what could have been? Uh, let's look forward to the, or look ahead to this game. So far this year, offense for Northwestern, not bad. They have a pretty good uh, passing game. Where they struggle is defense. Uh, 26 points per game they are giving up to their opponents. And that's just not good enough. Iowa's averaging 28 and a half a game. So if Northwestern's going to want to hang in this one, I think it will have to be a high-scoring affair. But Iowa's defense is pretty good, especially with Brandon Schneider back now. We have somebody to solidify that secondary a little bit. Uh, not that they've been doing a bad job this year, but just a little help back there. Uh, their losses this year are to Duke, Wisconsin, and Penn State, and their wins are over teams that aren't very good. They played Penn State uh, last week on October 7th, and it was very impressive. They held Barkley, Saquon Barkley, probably the leading Heisman candidate right now to uh, 
I believe it was one total yard at halftime. Then Barkley exploded in the second half. But still, they managed to do that for a whole half of football. That's very impressive. They were in that game until the second half, but then they let it slip away. But uh, it should be. Let's enjoy the Hawkeye or let's enjoy the bye week, Hawkeye fans. Get rested up. Uh, maybe rest a little. Sleep in on Saturday. Who knows? And become come ready on the 21st to uh, make some noise and cheer on the Hawks. It's a road game at Evanston, so if you can get on out there, go find yourself a cheap ticket, cheer them on there. But if not, be ready, cheering at home, stand in front of those TVs, and uh, let's get to let's get to five and two here and keep the win streak going, build it up as we move into November. That's all for this episode of the Hawkeye Tailgate Report. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Search us on YouTube. Uh, thanks for listening, and go Hawks!